Myth number one of crowdfunding. It's totally easy to raise like $10,000, $20,000 on Kickstarter. Just put up your link and the money will just roll right in. This is by far one of the worst myths out there that crowdfunding is easy. Uh, so many people see these successful projects on Kickstarter and they don't realize how much work goes into it on the back end in terms of making a campaign successful on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. In fact, there's a ton of work that an indie author has to do to raise even the smallest amount of money. Why? Because Kickstarter and Indiegogo are just platforms like Amazon, like anywhere else. And you have to bring your people to the platform in order to get anyone to back your project on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. It's just a platform. It's up to you to bring the people there. That takes a lot of work effort, strategy, money, time, and energy, and you have to do it. And so that's why fundraising is so difficult. Myth number two, my book is so awesome. People are just going to find it and love it and support it. Now, this myth is tough because there are so many good books out there and I find a lot of them on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, but the difference between the good books that are successful and the good books that fail are that the good books that are successful convince me as a reader what this will give me and why I have to have this book in my hands. So if you just put up your pretty pictures and say, hey, back us on Kickstarter, you're not gonna get as far as if you describe the why a reader has to have your book on their bookshelf. Myth number three, crowdfunding is going to expand my audience and I don't have to do too much audience building beforehand. This is really detrimental and I have seen indie authors with large audiences not do well or as well as they wanted to on Kickstarter because they were the wrong audience for their book because it is really important that you're targeting the right people with the right messages, convincing them and getting them to your page and getting them to share your page with the right content. It's so important to convince the right people to back your project. Having 100 people on your list who are super excited about your specific book on Kickstarter is way more valuable than having 1,000 people on your email list who are kind of eh, about whatever it is you're doing. So definitely find those people who are super excited about your book and get them on your email list so you can send them email messages during your campaign. Myth number four, having a celebrity involved in your campaign is going to guarantee success. As indie authors, we're looking for that external praise. We're looking for those extra shares. We're looking for other people's platforms to help us out. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes it just doesn't move the needle when it comes to backers in a campaign. This happened to Ellie Blue with Microcosm Publishing, where she had Jane Goodall write a fantastic foreword for one of the books, and she put it all over her Kickstarter page, and it just didn't really do anything different for that book than it did for her other books that she featured on Kickstarter. So having a celebrity comment on your book or write a foreword or be involved in some way doesn't always guarantee success. And there's no excuse for developing a strong marketing strategy, regardless of who is involved in your book. And myth number five is thinking that crowdfunding is different than marketing. If you're thinking to yourself, I don't really like marketing, I'm gonna do crowdfunding instead. I don't really wanna market my book or plan a book launch, I'm gonna launch on Kickstarter instead. Then you're really just, confused about what crowdfunding really is because you have to do a ton of marketing to get people interested in your crowdfunding campaign. So if you are looking at crowdfunding as a way to skip all this marketing business, you're in for a big surprise because you're going to have to do all the same marketing techniques that everyone is already telling you what to do. So really crowdfunding is just a different type of marketing. It's not, not marketing. It's totally marketing. And those are my five myths of crowdfunding. You can find more information and resources on how to kickstart your book or put it on Indiegogo so that you can successfully fund your book with a solid strategy at my website, lisaferland.com.